Do you like never-ending story? Because I grew up loving that book and movie. So today we are making a never-ending story book nook. In order to make the oracle, I'm going to use hot glue and a body mold. But because my mold is standing straight up, I'm going to make the body in several sections and then I'm going to hot glue them together. I twist the mold while hot glue is drying to give it the shape I want. Then I make the upper parts of the legs glue them on and finally below the knee then I make the hands separately and attach those two I prime the body with glue and let it dry. The parts that are going to be uh, visible I have decided to cover with epoxy putty or green stuff putty. This stuff is very good for sculpting and adding finer details. You basically mix the two parts until it's unanimously green and turn our sphinxes into she-hulks. I only covered one half of each because there was no point in making finer details on the other half of the sphinxes. Uh, they are not going to be so exposed. I also used the same putty to make necklaces for both sphinxes. This material is very easy to work with. I would say it's a bit too soft, so you want to work uh, with it in layers. You want to wait for the first layer to dry and then start adding um, more layers. For the head, I'm using a mold and a high-density cosplay foam. This is an air-drying material. It takes very good all the details of small molds and it's extremely light when it's dry. My mold didn't have ears, so I've decided to uh, improvise and make them from scratch.
I use a little bit of the same foam to attach ears. Uh, they look a bit uh, silly from up front, but we're going to look at them from the side. I use green stuff putty to mold the head pieces. Now let's make the wings. For the wings I'm using several layers of cardboard and a green stuff putty to make the feathers. Both sphinxes in watered brown acrylic paint. Before I dry brush them with two layers of golden acrylic paint. I add pieces of styrofoam into the box and using heat gun melt them to look like uh, mountains. Then I prime everything with black and paint the horizon. If you don't feel like painting, you can simply uh, color print the landscape and glue it on the back wall. My book nook is going to be very dark, so I've decided to add a string of LED lights. 
I've separated the lights into two big clusters that I'm going to hide behind the oracles. I add bits of aluminium foil to serve as part of the landscape. I cover them with putty, wait for them to dry and then paint. I cut a bunch of burlap string to imitate dry grass. Then I glue it on the ground to hide any pieces of hot glue or strings. D&D campaign but today I'm going to use a skeleton a horse and a knight I chop this skeleton into pieces to uh, scatter it on the ground um, to imitate the remnants of a knight who had tried passing uh, between the oracles. I repaint it with brown and ivory to give it more natural, worn out look. Then I simply glue it on the ground using PVA. As a final step, I hot glue the new um, knight on a horse that is approaching to the oracle and our book nook is ready. <laughs> 